Hello everyone and today I guess the app updated. I don't know what's in store. Um, this is probably going to be a video of climbing with Cypress. We're going to see. Okay. Amaterius A3 appeared in the store. Huh. Let's see. So I don't know if I buy this if something else happens. That's it? What? Okay. For a second there, I thought, they're going to add more bays? No, um, Amaterios A3 is just unlocked. That's it. So, you don't need a code. You just buy it. Like anyone else. Yeah, um, I guess, I guess it's the only one there. That's very interesting. I thought this was going to be a bigger update, but from what I can tell from scrolling through the store, most of the layers have been just added in. I don't know if this is added to the store because, like, actually added because uh, me and Cypress um, showed off Fornius and Lunar before, and those bays appeared in the training. But uh, to anyone else, they don't they don't appear. So I don't know if that was luck or if it actually is there. Regardless, this will be probably a video with Cypress. So Amaterios A3. It should be A4. It is a Chozetsu bay. This is not a Switch Strike bay. So this bay is a very, it's a very recent and rare prize bay that you can either get in Rare Bay Get Battle, which is basically this RNG uh, clicker, which is basically on your account when you have a lot of these points scanned from the QR codes that you get from the products. You're able to do like 3,000 points uh, per, per session. And if you get lucky, you're able to actually win it. Of course, you need, you need a friend because you can only uh, send it through Japan. So they probably have to get it for you and then have to send it, yada, yada, yada. But very interesting. And the fact that they're doing this is really nice. Now, I said, kind of weird how they're not doing Yami Terios. Because those versions have um, parts like uh, three. Uh, well, three is not anything. Well, actually, three is special because they never did three. But uh, DS Dash, Destroy Dash, or even Extreme Dash. And there's a lot of these uh, newer parts. They're a lot more tighter than the original, and I don't know if Hasbro's gonna do it or not do it, or if they're just gonna like have it look like it, but it's not gonna even be tighter in the slide. I don't know, because I'm a little confused if they're or if they're not gonna do it. I would at least hope we at least get the color scheme of Yami Terios. That's the least I'll ask for. But who knows? Maybe it gets revealed later. Maybe it doesn't. So Bay looks nice. Nothing else to say. Arrow angle. These are new parts created. And what are you doing? Yeah, there you go. T18 anchor. So this will probably be a video with Cypress. We'll probably give our insight and tell you what's going on, what isn't going on, etc., etc., etc. But the point, I'm going to keep on hammering in so everybody understands. Do you see how eventually this stuff is being updated and presented in the app? You only have to wait. That's it. So, the recent opponent. You only have to wait, and that's it. And then after you're able to purchase in the store, you obviously have to have a lot of points by getting these products or whatever, or scanning it, or battling in the app. Actually, no, it's battling in the app. I'm thinking scanning of the Japanese one. But I will quickly show it off. Probably have it brushed past a little screen. A lot of these bays, like Rock Tavor, Crash Rock Tavor, or Ecalcum, they're basically confirmed inside of the app. So that means... I mean, they were confirmed before. I mean, they're inside of the app. It's no longer just the parts of it. So, to anyone wondering when or how, you're at least able to battle with it. So, I'm sure a lot of people will be at least satisfied with that. Or I would hope. So, we're going to do battle. We're going to do... So, we're probably going to try to do our best to help with the community so we can get an idea of what Hasbro's doing. Or even just show it off so you can get an idea of how it's going to be, how the avatar attack's going to look like, and whatever. You know, the usual stuff. I think the turbo line's going to be probably, like, really, really good. What I mean by that is that... I, I'm, I don't know about um, the new driver meta that they have, but I feel like it'll be good in the sense that There'll be a lot more action going on, and maybe that was more of their idea. But I don't think it completely takes away from the bays for what they're doing. Because, you know, with uh, the, the jolt, right? It's only a little bit flatter, but then after 
you're actually able to change it, I guess, to it to be extended. And the wedge is the same, so it's not really that bad. Just a little different. I'll wait till I see it. But look, if they're better than the actually original Takara Tommy Base, I will not complain in the slightest. Well, I haven't, but you know. Yeah, so for some reason, Amaterasu's avatar attack, it just gets some giant ninja blade and just hits it. Oh. <laughs> and, just, and just like any other battle, Crash Dragon Rock bursts right away. So while uh, Blue, Brutal Lunar is a bit glitched for the training mode anyways, we do have Fornia, so at least we're going to try that. I was going to do Achilles and Valtryak, but I feel like Rock, Tavor, and Fornius are good enough since, you know, most people... Well, because they're latest basing, because I can't do Lunar, so I figure I'll just do Rock, Tavor, and I'll do uh, Fornius. So obviously, uh, as more info comes out, me and Cypress will give as much updates as we can to all this stuff. Actually, I, don't know, I might do a battle with uh, Valkyrie and Achilles. I'll see. I don't know. Let's uh, do the uh, match with Fornius, then after I guess maybe I'll do the match with Valkyrie. So, I at least want to try to at least beat one round with it, and then after... No, we'll see. So, it's gonna do its avatar attack. Oh, I'm like looting on that HUD. Got the big shark. The orb. Do this. Yeah, I have like almost no stamina left. Oh, there we go. I'll try to beat it in another round, then we'll go with uh, Valtrak and Achilles. Too early? I am i don't think it's going to be a black star there. That wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, you want to know what? Uh, let's transition to Achilles and uh, Valtrak. Yeah, the Achilles. So, talk about some new stuff. We just did Geist Fafnir. We did the unboxing. We did against Ultra Zetsu, we did some Fornius gameplay, collabing with Cyprus. We did the extension, we did Geist Fafnir versus All Fafnir. We did Geist Fafnir versus Winning, and we did a really big video, which you don't have to watch all of it. It's up to you, but we did Geist Fafnir versus like 102 days, and that was such a long process just to do from start to finish. We did it against Switch Strike, God Base, Takaratom. It was crazy. It was crazy. But. That's kind of uh, it. We'll probably, for the Friday of, I have to talk to Cypress. We'll see what we want to showcase. Of course, check out Cypress whenever he does these type of videos. Because he'll usually give a little bit more insight on the app. We more or less just showcase and go uh, off what we know. But we'll obviously ask Cypress to make sure and clarify there's no inf misinformation. And some other stuff to talk about is um, actually, what was it? It was that Strike Valtryak that for some reason was in the advertisement for the RC and Fafnir F3 was shown off already which I have to remember who exactly I have to get the right name it is because I want to say it right it should be yeah Draco Light showed off Fafnir F3 and some people are saying it's appearing in their store like uh, I don't know I've only seen Fafnir so far from Draco, and I don't know if maybe Strike Valtrek is supposed to be there or if it's not, because I'm very confused because it appeared there for some reason. Unless it was a really big goof, which I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be. It sh it's maybe coming, I don't know. The least, even if it's not, the least I want is just like the fixed wing. Just with like maybe some different colors and it could be even like the same stock combo, not even Ultimate Reboot. They can do some other release with Ultimate Reboot. Like what I even said is that, uh, we'll do one more match. What I said basically, I said, hey, what you can do is the easiest thing. The easiest thing possible is just make that new Noctimus. Do the gas upon colors because it's always in the actual uh, app. Give it ultimate reboot, give it three and give it hit. Cause I guarantee, I just want three and hit, please. Because 
That should have been there day one, but we had to wait, we didn't know, and I really hope Hasbro does it. Because even if it's for the turbo line, I'll still take it. And I don't think they're going to turbo-fy Ultimate Reboot. So please, Hasbro. Hashtag Hasbro, please. I don't know. Yeah, but that's kind of uh, it. This is actually the start of this week, so I was really surprised uh, with what they showed off. But I think we're going to probably end it here, just for time's sake and everything. So let us know what are your thoughts on Amaterios A3. How do you think Hasbro is going to package it up? I said with an Ori Calcum and some launcher. But, you know, let us know in the comment section below. And please check out Cypress. We'll do our best to give updates on this app as it comes by or showcase gameplay for Baze. Uh, like the video and share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you click that bell, be notified for upload. You can be notified for more Beyblade Burst Evolution. Probably going to be renamed the Turbo. But uh, news for the future. Thanks for watching.